that this was all macroed by levels and it was all levels idea. And yeah, me and Lopali, started this project. Yeah, and the the macro is kind of what's like the big deal about this park, I'd say. Um and I believe it's based off of a real island in Dubai, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the and, Emirates. Yeah, exactly. And so me and Lopali were brought in later. Uh, I was brought in in February, and Lopali was like three weeks ago, two weeks ago. Yeah, beginning of March. Yeah. So, um, so Levels had this beautiful hotel down when I got in, and it sort of sprang from there, essentially. Um, so the two arms to the sides are themed to like the classic Dubai like tropical vibe I'd say I have a beautiful coaster that Lopoli fixed for me because I had a a different layout first um I definitely really just like better. layout I'm sad I couldn't find a way to keep the loop in there yeah it originally had a loop that went through the lift hill or not went through but the lift hill went through the loop but right about uh, where was the, the roll is yeah, but it was an, an awkward space to fill in a, a coaster uh, due to the diagonal, like, drip, essentially. Yeah, and on the other arm, we have this water park that is, it also has, if you go a little to the left, it has like a shark tank, which is based off of real ride levels built all this. Uh... So yeah, it's a water slide where it goes through a tunnel that, and then it has the sharks top of it. You can see it go there. I think the other stuff is free-handed, if I'm not mistaken. And then I don't know, Lopoli, was it you or Levels who added this dune buggy monster I truck? Added the, right? I added the dune buggies just because I really did not expect us to figure out something for the rest of that yeah. island, so... <laughs> It was a it was a very wise move to get you on board, Lopoli, because it's stuff like that that we needed, right? Like some ways of filling up the park um, with a bunch of stuff. And yeah, then you have the like center island it has like a bunch of leaves, and each leaf has a its own unique theme. So the two bottom ones, if you start from the bottom, oh, and you have a monorail that is passing through like the center, center, uh, yeah, center of the, the leaf. And I think Levels set up the stations and Low Poly filled in the detailing on that strip of land, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I did the planters and yeah, I laid out the path on there, but yeah. Was but it levels... levels that did the little buildings under the monorail? Uh, that was Levels. Yeah, Levels. Wasn't me, so. Then we have... This one is like a pirate theme, I believe. This was done by Levels. And he made the beautiful ship to go along. And yeah, then there's like, I don't know, this theme is like Generic, we need a Ferris wheel type of theme. <laughs> we have a little Asian section that was initially put down by levels, and then I detailed it uh, a lot more. Yeah, these buildings uh, are really nice. Yeah, you did thank an you, amazing thank you. job with that. Yeah, I um, found some inspiration online, and I detail. It's It's what I do. And... Then we have Levels, his uh, NASA slash space theme, little accelerator type coaster. I think fits the area pretty nicely, and he did this dark ride. Uh, I think it's inspired from something, but I don't recall what. It says Space Invaders, so like maybe the video game. Yeah, could be, could be. He did the little um, rocket as well. I think that looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think this area came out pretty nice. And then this is the Greenland area, or Nordics. And 
this is what I did. I did like a, a family boomerang type of poster to go through the landscape here. And yeah, just a bunch of, of rock work to try and imitate the the cliffy and like very foliage, very little foliage on this type of, of landscape, really. Yeah, you used a recolorable sphinx. Yeah. You can barely exactly. see it, but that's really cool. Yeah. I uh, I like that rocks are more rounded and not as rough. So that that's what I was going for. You have a little flag, flagpole. Just, you know, and a little shoot ride that I spent a million years trying to shoestring because I'm not a shoestringer. But it worked out. Brew helped a lot. Like and we the palette, have. Uh, I is it yours? Yeah, I Le think level levels chose it. Easy, actually. Yeah, <laughs> low poly. This is your area. Yeah, this is my area. Um, I was just told Egypt, and I ran with it. Uh, we've got uh a little arrow looper. With a corkscrew. You I tried to channel. Corkscrew? <laughs> it's like swaggable. Yeah, it could be in a swag shack. Yeah. Yeah, the the Giga Coaster large corkscrew. It looks really good though. Yeah, I like the color scheme a lot. And Thanks, your I entrance tried to highlight with the like lapis lazuli colors and gold. Yeah. I think each little area has like their own entrance, which I think is pretty cool as well. Those are hard to get right, so doing that many of them is impressive. Yeah. Uh, this is Levels, and he did uh, Las Vegas. You can see the little sign, which I think is really cool, uh, out in the, the front. Go back. Yeah, exactly. That Welcome to Las Vegas. And he did this uh, roulette that you can see here with the the mouse or a cat car acting as the little white ball goes around. I think that one was pretty cool. The go karts going around the area is a neat trick as well. And in the building in the cutout, you can see people playing poker. I don't know, if, or art. Maybe it's Seth. That's really cool. Yeah. So yeah, he uh, he worked on this area. See, I see some cool dudes that I haven't seen before. Now that we go through it, he also did this next area, which is steampunk. And the coaster is roughly inspired by Baron in Efteling, but I can see that. like re reinvented. Yeah, because Manti just released his like recreation. The day after I suggested to do Baron here, so felt like it needed to be a little, a little different. Yeah, he made that giant clock, which I think is also really cool, and the shoestrung uh, top spin. I think he he struggled with that a lot, so kind of glad that came out uh, good as well. Yeah, um, flat ride is also pretty interesting. Thing in that area, I don't not. I'm not really sure what he went for, but I think it looks pretty cool. This area is me, and it's a candy theme. It has a bunch of flat rides, and then this this ducky monorail going through the entire area. I uh, just thought that that was fun, a little bit more kid friendly section of the park. Is that a giant you have pretzel? Pret That's a giant pretzel, yes. Nice. Because I did not know how to theme this, and somehow it ended up looking like a pretzel, and I went for it. I love Got a little, that. Uh, yeah. yeah, this also me shoestringing with some help from Low Poly, because it, yeah. Just to be and, clear, uh, I did not help with the shoestring. I just moved the station down, and it still looks weird. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Well, it it might look weird. There's also a cinema in that big. Uh, purple building. So I kind of went for a cinema look there. 
This is really good because like it feels like real buildings, just themed, not like fantasy buildings. You know, mm. it, it feels like a real building with just some fun theming on it. Yeah, that's. And I think candy theme is surprisingly difficult to get right. But uh, yeah, then that area is also me. And uh, like I, this is the first area I built, and I needed something that was like anti Neo Tokyo, and this is the most like anti high rise theme I could f think of. So I just went for cutesy botanical garden. And there's actually a peacock in there somewhere, pea fowl. Uh, yeah, right there. Oh, that's, oh, that's really, really cool. Forgot to give it a beak, but yeah, there. Yeah. Um, Can you go got to the, the greenhouse again? I just want to see it because it's so freaking good. Yeah, it's actually really good. decorated on the inside a little bit, flowers and stuff as well. It's a structure of the year candidate if I've ever seen one. Yeah, Next year. Looks, looks really nice. Yeah. And low poly, this is you, I think. Uh more or less. Levels did a lot of the smaller building work around there. I mainly just laid out the paths. I did the the little boathouse on the rocks. Oh no, the back wall's missing. Oh. <laughs> Moving on. Rotate, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> no one saw. I I did the helicopter platform on that area. Oh, and yeah. So like with two days to go, we had like this long strip of island that we had no idea what to do with. So I ended up building this like small construction zone to make it look like they're still expanding the park. And yeah, you got the little container houses that workers live in when they built in an area. That you got the really little good. Thank you. You've got the little foundation that's halfway there on the ground with CP6 overseeing it. <laughs> You got the activists in the back. Yeah. They're they arrived by by rubber boats. And yeah. And the harbor was not me. Uh I don't know, Lopoli, was that you or Levels? I think Levels. I don't did want to the... take too much credit for it because even though I did do a lot, like the big the big things like the crane and the boats were, I believe, levels. Yeah, yeah. I had mainly path work and yeah. Yeah, I did path work. I laid out the train tracks, the other like crates, containers. I did the truck. Yeah. I also did that little boathouse, which is super cute. It has all the walls too. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and it should. It should be said that we have like a transport, like transportation boat, taxi thing, which goes all the way around the map. And we also have helicopters, helicopter tours, which you can see the platform for there, somewhere on the map. Um, see the parking lot there as well, which was a requirement. Helicopter tours, I think, is the one at the very top of the list. Yeah, yeah, I think so too, because I didn't have... No, it's not. Is it not? It's in the bottom. It's in the bottom, yeah. Somewhere. Should be in the... It has black... Uh... Yeah, so it, it'll be up at the... Yeah, it just didn't go far enough up. Oh, there we go. Uh It's in a mode where I can't follow it on the map, but... Oh! Yeah. There it is. <laughs> the little tiny helicopter just speeding around. <laughs> yeah. This was, um... A v this was the last thing I did for submitting. No, it looks really good. I, this hotel is extremely impressive. I think this is the biggest highlight yes. of the park. Levels yes. really popped off with that one. 
Yeah. And then overall, just I thought it was a really creative idea on doing the wonder as the islands themselves, and then each different branch being a different theme was really cool. Yeah, and it was nice and easy to... Hotel. Let's see the diagonal parts, because those are super impressive. Super cool. And what was the title of the park? Uh, I think Palm it was Beach. Palm Beach. It's down the corner. Palm, yeah. Palm Beach. 